from Little Row P and A Panda, and I was going to show you. I just got a new maxi, and I wanted to show you all the cool ways of wearing this. Now, this is actually a really long skirt. It actually, I'm about five three, so just to show you, if I wore this all the way down, it actually touches the floor. So the way to shorten it is that I bring it up. Now there's a couple different ways. You can actually wear it right under here, and that will shorten enough for me. And, or you can get it up there and then you can take the yoga band and just fold it over. So if you want it at your waist, you can still do that. My favorite way of wearing this is to actually wear it as a dress. And so what I do is I bring it up over and up, and then I take the yoga band and I fold it in half. Now this takes a little bit of finagling in the back, so you may need a little help doing that, or just getting a little set up there. And then there you have it. And then, so you can wear it just like this, or you can take your belt, and you can belt it, which will give you a different look. And you could go with a thin belt, you could go with a wide belt, that'll make a completely different look. You can do lots of different things. I'm going to put this up here because we're going to use it again. Now, but there is more. You can do a lot more. So one of the reasons I really like this is because you can wear it as a cover-up. So I'm going to grab all of this. I am wearing leggings underneath. And I'm going to take this little bit and I'm going to go over my head. And now I have a cover-up. And it's very cute. Now, if you're gonna do this, you wanna make sure you do your size or a size up. Otherwise, it's gonna be really tight in here. And if you have a little bit of the white showing, just make sure and fold it under a little bit. And there it is as a cute little cover up. But also, taking the belt, we can take this, wrap it around. Again, folding that, this hem in, so you don't end up having white showing through. Take your belt. Ah. And fold this in again. Take your belt. And belt it. And now you have a cute little top. Just like this. And you can adjust it however you want. If you want the belt lower, you can do that. If you want to show a little bit of a car, a little bit of a tank underneath, you can do that. And that will change it. So that's really cute. So that's two ways of wearing it this way. Now this other way is kind of a little bit different. So we're gonna bring it back up, but we're gonna keep holding on to this. And we're gonna put one arm through. Just like that. And you can adjust this however you want. And you can make it a one shoulder dress. Grab our belt. Go around. And belt it. And now you have a one arm dress. Now you can do a little bit of adjusting here. This isn't yeah perfect there we go so now you have a one-arm dress very cute you could use this as a summer like dress you could wear it with leggings to make kind of a different look now if you're gonna wear it as a dress I would recommend taking this edge and bring it over as much as you possibly can and same with the under one just for modesty there you go. And bring your arm up. And there you go. So very cute, very fun. And I'll see. Now what was also really fun about this is going back to it as a skirt. One way that I've seen to play with the length is you take your yoga band and you fold it down 
and I'm bringing this length up to about calf height. Now, then you will take this part and you will tuck it under, under that band, okay? And now you have a shorter skirt. So very fun. And I would just play with this little yoga band where you want it. Again, you could do it right under your bust. This will give you a little bit more of a cute vintage look. Or you can put it down on your waist. Now that does make a big difference on how it will look. Another fun thing to do, before I pull this down, is to take this bottom edge and tie it. So if you are really short, like me, and the full length is too long for you, just tie this bottom corner, and then when you pull it down, it will actually bring it back up for you. So really cute, really fun. Just a different way of wearing it. I recommend doing it more on the side than the center than I did. Now, here's a really fun one. So we're gonna take this off, we're gonna wear it backwards. So we're gonna find our seams. There's one seam, here's another seam. We're gonna step in. There's the yoga band down by my feet. We're gonna bring it up. Okay, we're gonna take our seams. Now this can actually change depending upon where you grab this. I'm grabbing about, just oh, say about a half foot from the seams, and I'm bringing it around, and I'm tying it behind my neck. Now you could actually use a hairband if you want to do that. And then, now you can see when I did it really close in that half foot, it made it a lot, I keep looking at the mirror guys, a lot closer to my neck, okay? And so if you do that, I would do the belt around here to give you a little bit more definition. Now, let's take our seam here and our seam here, okay? And then we're gonna tie it there. And like I said, you can use a rubber band to do this as well. And once you get this settled to the spot you want it, what I would recommend doing is taking your little hems and just folding them in. And that will hide them for you. And look, now I have a cute little halter top. Okay. What do you think? Is that cute? I have a little bit of a tummy, so this kind of hides it a little bit. It's kind of fun. It kind of looks like a skirt, like a really short skirt. I would always wear leggings with this. You could pull it down a little bit farther if you wanted to wear it as a dress. So, like that. But I like it more as a kind of tunic top because it hides my tummy a little bit more. And, voila. Very fun. Now, if you are not wearing a tank top underneath this, you can take this and do like a little pin here if you wanted. Safety pin it underneath if you want. Something like that. Or you can wear a really bright, fun, contrasting tank top underneath and have that show a little bit to add a little more color. That's a great way to do some matching is take a color from your leggings and bring it into your tank top and have it peek up here because that will tie everything together. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. It was quick, it was messy, but it was fun, right guys? <laughs> so, I was so excited to get this maxi. I just love how diverse it is. I may actually wear it like this today. I wore it yesterday as a, as a like, sundress, but I might wear it like this today. It's kind of cute, right? <laughs>